Seriously, I'm down. Hi, guys. <coughs> it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful. Looks like the moon is on the rise. A glorious moonlit August evening here in the blistering summer of 2024 where I have just put on my uh, my flannel bathrobe and my Uggs to survive another night in the middle of August. That would be Tuesday night, August 13th, 2024. And uh, so guys, I'm a little disappointed in myself. I, I really set out to uh, stir up the little limp dick lefty woke uh, whatever they call themselves the DEIs the uh, the the DEIs the deplorable egregious imbeciles uh, th that have completely destroyed the very concept of being a lefty so I thought that my rant last night on uh, on monkeypox uh, would, would would rile them up. I did not get one limp dick lefty troll bitching at me. I even took it over to Collapse Chronicles. I continued the my my monkeypox uh, rant uh, over there on Collapse Chronicles. Not one goddamn limp dick. Uh, little greeny lefty uh, trolled me. Well, maybe they did, and uh, YouTube uh, pulled their comments down. So maybe am, am I losing my touch to get the uh, little limp dick lefties all riled up? Uh, because it's so easy. <clears throat> it is so easy. To, uh, to, to rile these clueless fucking morons up. I mean, all, all you got to say, <clears throat> it point out that there's too goddamn many people <coughs> being born in sub-Saharan Africa. That there's a, going on one billion people who never should have been fucking born in sub-Saharan Africa. And, and uh, how every goddamn one of them with a brain is getting their fucking black asses to Honkyville. That used to be enough to to get the little DEI uh, limp dick greeny lefties panties in a while, but I guess it, it's just not enough anymore. What, what do I have to do? So uh, I, I just got off the phone with uh, you know my my best friend in the world. Uh, you know, I've mentioned I've mentioned this woman before, uh, who voted for Donald Trump in 2016 and 2020. I thought she was voting for RFK in in 2024, but I don't know if it had anything to do with the uh, with that mangled bear cub uh, or, or or not. But apparently. My my best friend in the world is uh, is is checked out of the RFK camp and is casting her vote for the third time uh, for 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 Donald Trump. So we had a, a, a we we just we've been on the phone for about a half an hour. I wish that I had recorded it. I will invite her to actually come on a Humpty Dumpty tribe. I don't think, I cannot imagine she will take me up on this uh, to actually come on a Humpty Dumpty tribe and uh, try to explain how, how somebody who claims, you know, they, like, they love animals, for instance, uh, they, they are generally pro life, pro-fellow earthling, uh, whatever, 
uh, how somebody who gets it on so many levels could still vote for the most despicable human being on the planet. So we got into uh, this uh, this very spirited conversation because, uh, you know, she understands that uh, I despise Kamala Harris almost as much as Donald Trump. And so we were, uh, and so then of course it came up in, in the conversation that, as she used to say uh, about Joe Biden, who, you know, Joe Biden, who has drilled uh, more fossil fuels out of the ground under his administration than any president in history, including Donald Trump. Okay. Uh, she used to call Don uh, Joe Biden a socialist, and now she is calling... Kamala Harris, a socialist. So one of us does not understand what the fuck a socialist is. Uh, I, 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 so she asked me, well, what is she? I, I said, darling, uh, Kamala Harris, just like Donald Trump, is a capitalist corporate whore. Okay? As I told her, just like I used to tell her about Joe Biden, Kamala Harris is a socialist like Sancho Panza is a pit bull. Uh, Kamala Harris does not have one ounce of being a socialist in her. I, I, I did uh, appreciate hearing Donald Trump uh, a, a quote from Donald Trump talking about Kamala Harris saying, D Donald Trump saying that Kamala Harris is more Trump than Trump, which is the truest thing that Donald Trump has ever said. Kamala Harris is more Trump than Donald Trump, okay? Where it really matters there is no fucking difference between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. As, as I told my friend, uh, you know, all of these limp dick lefties talking about Donald Trump being Hitler, uh, implying that Donald Trump is a Nazi. As I just told my friend, I don't think that Donald Trump is a Nazi. Okay, Donald Trump is a capitalist pig whore, and he's not even a whore. He's a capitalist pig stooge. That's another rant for another day. I said, even though I do not agree w w w w with these DEI limp dick lefties that Donald Trump is a Nazi, Donald Trump is more of a Nazi than... Kamala Harris is a socialist. They are both fascist. If, if your definition of fascist as mine is, is basically, this is oversimplifying, my idea of a fascist is someone who basically lets the global corporatocracy lead the you know government policy that it, it's basically uh, the the government being in bed with the global corporatocracy. Okay, so if you are voting for a candidate who is in bed with the global corporatocracy, you are voting for a fascist. If you vote for Donald Trump or Kamala Harris, you are voting for a fascist. If you vote for Donald Trump, you are not voting for a Nazi. If you vote for Kamala Harris, you sure as shit ain't voting for a fucking socialist. You're, fo you're voting for a fucking corporate whore. Okay? As Donald Trump says, Kamala Harris is more Trump than Trump, 
and Kamala Harris could say Donald Trump is more Harris than Harris. They are two, uh, two sides of the same capitalist, corporate horror, fascist coin. Either one of them is a darling of the American empire. Uh, Kamala Harris wants to bring down America like, uh, I, 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 I don't know, uh, Donald Trump uh, wants to put a tranny uh, a, a, as the head of uh, some cabinet position. I, 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 I don't know. Uh, my, my, you know, the, 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 this crazy shit, you know, Donald Trump talking his fucking trash to those goddamn maga, to those goddamn maggots over there stirring up all of this shit, talking about how <laughs> that one about uh, claiming that that uh, crowd was AI, that, that Kamala crowd was AI generated. Uh, I, 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 I don't even need to go there, okay? Uh, it, 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 if we elect, if anybody in this, on this planet is fucking clueless enough to think that those scenes in front of that airplane were AI generated, a, you deserve Donald Trump as president, okay? Uh, you, you got Donald Trump talking his shit to his little maggot uh, band of uh, band of ass lickers. <clears throat> you got Kamala Harris talking her shit to her little band uh, of uh, deplorable, egregious imbeciles. And the little limp dick lefties, I, 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 maggots and limp dick lefties are two sides of the same coin. They're swallowing this unadulterated fucking horse shit. Okay. Coming out of either one of these corporate whore fascist mouths. Okay. It doesn't matter which way this election goes. We're going, once again, what a surprise, we're going to have a corporate horror fascist in the White House uh, doing everything they can to prop up the American empire, which, I don't want to stir up any shit with my friends, the American empire needs to go. The American dream needs to go. It is the American way of life that has gotten this planet in the shape that it is in. The American life and the American dream and the American empire are the biggest threat to life on planet Earth. Okay? But I assure you that Kamala Harris is no more of a threat to the American empire than Donald Trump. So my friend can rest assured, the American empire, well, it is going down the toilet, uh, but we're not, we're not going to get off on that. Goodbye and good riddance to the American empire. <clears throat> This is the, the lefty in me. This is the lefty, and I, and I still am a lefty. But, but I do want to say, if, if I did not make it clear, if I have not made it clear enough for the record that I am every bit as disgusted by these little limp dick woke lefty greenies as I am maggots, uh, can you uh, still despise the ground that Donald Trump walks on? Can you believe, as I do, 
that Donald Trump is the single most despicable human being on the planet and also believe that monkey pox is a very valid term and is not a racist term. There is nothing racist about the term monkey pox. Okay, can you believe, can you agree that Donald Trump is the most despicable human being on the planet and still say there's too fucking many people being born in sub-Saharan Africa? I can hold these two thoughts. Donald Trump is the most despicable human being on this planet. There are too fucking many people being born in Sub-Saharan Africa. Okay. Donald Trump is the most despicable human being on the planet. Somebody who was born with a dick is a male. That person is a he and a him for as long as he lives on this planet. Okay? If that person cuts off his dick, he is not a she, her. He is a he, him, clueless fucking moron who just cut off his dick. Okay? If you're born with a pussy, you will always be a she, her for as long as you live. Okay? You can call yourself whatever the fuck you want to. You are a she, her if you were born with a pussy. You are a he, him if you were born with a dick. I, I, I don't give a fuck what you want, anybody that, that you want me to change the laws of the English language to not offend you. I am pretty fucking offended that you expect me to change the laws of the English language because you cut your fucking dick off and call yourself a she, her. Okay? You're not. You're fucking not. Donald Trump does not know what a pronoun is. I know what a pronoun is. Okay? I know what a fucking pronoun is, and I'm going to call a fucking person who was born with a dick, he and him, I'm going to call a fucking person who was born with a pussy, she and her, till the day I die, and, and, and I make no fucking apologies for it, and I think Donald Trump is the most despicable human being on the planet. What else, little dog? What have I missed? <clears throat> and while I'm at it, I want every motherfucking pit bull on this planet to get a fucking bullet through their head. Okay? Kill every motherfucking pit bull on planet Earth. I don't know what that has to do with Donald Trump or Kamala Harris, except that... Kamala Harris is a fucking socialist like Sancho Panza is a pit bull. Anyway, is there anything, is, is, there, is there any confusion uh, whether or not a, a lefty can, uh, can, can still hold these thoughts in the year 2024? You fucking little DEI pussies. You make me want to fucking puke. You are an embarrassment to the very term left. You, more than anybody else, you fucking little DEI limp dick lefty greenies are sending more people over to the Donald Trump camp than fucking Donald Trump could, could ever dream of. All right, 
if Donald Trump ends up back in this fucking White House, you can thank the fucking little DEI, despicable, deplorable, uh, egregious imbeciles as, as much as anybody on the fucking right. You make me want to fucking puke. Okay? Every motherfucking one of you. You're as disgusting as a fucking maggot. You think our chicken pie is about done, little dog? It's about. I want to go have a chicken pie. Did I leave anything out? Would somebody please leave in the comments? Ham bun, you left this out. Bye, guys. All right, little dog. Let's go get our our chicken pie while we still can.